I did not know the manual mode was not enabled. Well, I don't know what the fuck to okay, tell you. Okay, so it looks like we're getting some kind of countdown here. All right. And we are fucking we're live. Finally. Again. Jesus. Crime and it. All right. Price I wanna, on a crutch. I want to know how the fuck we're doing now because this is, this is just pissing me off. Yep. I went to work today. I almost got Way off really better. early. I almost got off fucking early, but I didn't. And then I went to go dig a hole for my fucking dad because his funeral's tomorrow. And now I didn't even shower, and I fucking came back, and we're doing a fucking podcast here in podcast land. And he had to eat supper standing up. <laughs> it's still a delay. Well, this is as good as we're going to get. Welcome back, everybody. Look who's back. Right it's there. me. It's, it's Shuby. Oh, Shuby Dooby. Look at the camera, buddy. Tell everybody. Say hi to your fans. Podcast land. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, we, so much for an audio podcast. <laughs> we tried to uh, we tried to do something with my computer. You might notice now I got a different computer, but it ain't hooked up because yep. Sanchez here has everything ready to go on his computer. I had I was almost to- totally keyed up. So hopefully we're getting a little better, uh, you know, operation than we had before. Well, I, how many gigs of RAM you got on that fucker? I got uh, eight on this. One. Okay, that's six more than I got on mine. Yeah. So and I've got I've got like a four core process. I got the the shit, you know. You got the shit. I got the shits. <laughs> Shuby's looking at the monitor like, "Where's our stories, man?" And <laughs> yeah, we don't have the monitor hooked up. How's the How's it looking to you? There's going to be a little delay. It's delayed. Yeah, yeah. Well, from of, what we say to what everybody out yeah. there sees. Yeah, and what you what you do to move, it's delayed. Yeah, like bad. I mean, so like if I like, move yeah, over like to here, like right here, my hand. Like, now it's just, like, where I grab the mic and adjust it. It's not even to where I move my hand yet. Yeah, but but does it look like the words and the and the mouths are moving at the same time? You, you, you can't hear it, can you? I can't hear it. Okay. I have headphones on, Sean, and my phone is on mute. On mute? What, what, what all I can do guy. is see the video, and all, all right. I can do is watch the comments. All right. Hey, and we got the... Uh... All the fucking uh, camera stuff because you didn't adjust OBS. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I've only so, done this once. So you got we got our uh, camera decals here. All right. On the side. Oh well. Fuck oh, I still it. got OBS running. Can I uh, do it from here? Yeah. Where's that, Where's the switch at? No, oh, you go to that red line over there. Uh, Remy said it's in this one. And it's great. Awesome. This Thanks, red line. Driver. Yep. And scoot it over. It's like cropping. Or do I got a Oh like nope. that? No. Nope. Right there. Where the little where the little ball is. Nope. 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 Right there. There you go. All right. There. Woo-hoo, just like a video you pro. Can do that on the other side to get rid of those two little zero. Fuck it. No, leave it because it'll crop you out and I gotta readjust shit. Yeah, well, here. We're gonna we're gonna keep those two little zero. See? See what happened? Yeah, no, I'm 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 working on it. All right. So I'm working on it. Remy, thanks, man. Yeah, the thanks video. for letting us know. Uh, you got good. the comments over there, Sh- Shani. Okay, I got comments. I got comments here too. All nice. Right. We'll have Shuby. We'll have okay. Our boy Shuby here. He's gonna take care of the comments and all that shit because uh, we got some stories to bring. That's you. That's right. Because this is Happy Hour News Team. Remy said it takes about twenty seconds for us to see their comments. All right. Okay. All right. Didn't know that because it didn't. We didn't get to see any fucking comments last time. Shh. We, we, we couldn't barely get live last time. <laughs> oh, is this Sean Hints? Yeah, Sean Hints. Yeah, he said you look like a, like a pimp as always. Yeah, of course. And we're gonna jump. We're gonna start a club, just, Sean's of America. Just kissing the sombrero. Yeah, missing <laughs> or missing. All missing. Of a <laughs> just Sean. Kissing. Oh yeah, I didn't wear my goofy looking hat. Yeah, we do have a different goofy looky hat for you for later on. Uh oh, if you'd like to wear it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. So, after a short little debacle here, on yeah, our, our second attempt at a fucking live video tonight. Like I said, I I haven't even fucking showered yet. We're just gonna do this shit. I'm getting did, adjusted. Did, didn't you take a Mexican shower because your face was really dirty? Uh, yeah, I did. Because I'm Mexican. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. American. Is, is, is that is that even politically correct anymore? Mexican American. I don't know. Or is it got to be Latinx or? 
I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't either. What is Latinx these days? Well, I have heard that so many times. It's like Generation X except for Latinos. Oh, okay. You that, know. that makes sense. I guess. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Here's what I don't get, and I know I'm going to get called a racist or some shit, but I don't. At this what, point, I don't really care. Racist? A racist? Yeah. Racist? But what I don't understand racist? is is people from Mexico that go by Latin. They call you know they they say it's Latin America. Well, the thing is, is Latin is a language that was it's Italian in in origin, and none of them speak Latin. They speak Spanish, but they're not Spanish. They're Mexican. <laughs> that so they're they're Mexican people who are not Spanish but speak Spanish, and call themselves Latin. Wow. All I can say is they go to night school and get a B. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, they take Spanish in night school and get a B. Yeah, well. Well, that's, that's yeah. I mean, if, if I were them, I wouldn't be, be calling myself Latin because those are the bastards that came. That, by the way, the Latin comes from the religion because they used to do the mass in Latin. Okay. So that's where the whole Latin comes from. But I wouldn't be calling myself Latin because some of the bastards that came over and ruined my hey, country. Remy says uh, Italian is of Latin origin. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Italian and, and Latin, they all come from the same part of the world. That's, At least that's, it ain't fucking Florida because right now we got a Florida man or Florida woman. Florida woman. Florida woman that fucking uh, our pal up at uh, the law office is a quibble, squabble, and bicker, Matt uh, Bracci. He sent me a story about this this uh, dumb this bitch. Fuck, this <laughs> dumb bitch. That's how I call her. All dumb right, bitch. you got you got the story because I, I got the bring story. It up. So, I'm using a different computer, so all my fucking stories are not even available. Well, if you can get to Facebook, you can get your stories. Okay. Anyway, so Florida private school threatens jobs of teachers who seek COVID nineteen vaccines, which to translate into regular speak. She won't hire teachers who's been vaccinated for some stupid fucking reason. So many universities are requiring students and faculty faculty to get COVID-19 vaccines before returning to campus. But one private pre-K to eighth grade school in Florida has turned that on its head. Pre-K to eighth grade? Yep. So why are they talking about college campuses? Well, there's, as an example. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so anyway, the school last week told us teachers and other staff they should avoid the COVID-19 injection because of the purported danger that vaccinated people propose to students. Nah. Well, yeah, she's a wanna, dumb You want to hear my thoughts on this COVID-19 vaccination? Let's hear them. Sure okay, if you want to get it, go get it, okay? Yeah. Like, for me, I just don't want to be that guy in, like, 20... 58 when like i'm sitting there watching tv and they're like did you have the covid vaccine between 2020 and 2021 you might be assigned <laughs> to a settlement like i just don't want to be that guy you know I, that's one it's one take i have not heard on it yet <laughs> i mean i've heard the you know the the infected with a chip you know and uh that it it, it it'll turn you gay and, uh, You've heard that? Oh, yeah, I've heard that. Oh, okay. they, you wouldn't believe the th shit people are making up. That uh, If you walk by a 5G tower, your blood will boil. Well, I mean, all that shit. I'm just, I'm just saying, if you want to get it, get it. I just don't want to be that guy that's sitting there watching late-night TV and finds out that, like, I got a settlement coming to me, you know? So, let's see, in 2058, how old will you be? Fucking old. Yeah, you might need that money. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I'm planning for retirement Okay. Now. <laughs> yeah. See, I won't make it that far, so, you know. Oh, Dylan Bear's watching. Hey, Dylan. Dylan. Awesome, How Dylan. How you doing, buddy? Fucking A, man. I want to thank everybody tuning in tonight. I mean, it's right. not as big of a uh, shit show as it was. Historically. That Sean says you guys are fucking legends. That's right. In our own mind. Awesome, man. I'm a legend every time I masturbate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to use a mirror shoe. You're supposed to use porn or something. <laughs> Oh, nice. Well, anyway, this dumb bitch, does, she's just fucking crazy. What you else know? did she do? She just refused to hire anybody who was vaccinated. Yeah. Uh, 
But is she the bitch in charge? Is she the HBIC? She is the HBIC. Oh. She's a yeah. capital B-I-T-C-H yep. also. Oh. Uh, tens of thousands of women all over the world have recently been reporting adverse reproductive issues simply from being in close proximity to those who have received any one of COVID-19 injections. Irregular menses, bleeding, miscarriages, postmenopausal hemorrhaging, and amenorrhea, whichever, well, complete loss of menstruation. I think they call that pregnancy, don't they? You know what? Side note, Chewy yeah. just just commented. He said he is fucking glad the whole crew is back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we miss you, Shoop. Something terrible. Well, it's it's been a long road, man. Like, yeah. Get it, like, it's just work, man. Like, I if I ain't working, I'm working at home and trying to make the girlfriend happy because, l- listen here, I'm a fuck up. I know I'm a fuck up. And I get yelled at quite a bit. And my girlfriend doesn't yell, so... You mean she doesn't remind you? No, like, I love her to death, but, like... No buts. Her, it's, it's not her job to remind me of shit. So I get yelled at. Because <laughs> I'm fucking dumb. I love you to death, not die. <laughs> I mean, when you're all about the cocaine and hookers, you're going to get yelled at. Oh, by yeah, girlfriend. yeah. Well, at least she's got her horses. Yes, now at least she does have her horses. So... Yeah, well, anyway, she, wanna... th- she thinks that if... Her, her whole sh- sh- deal is... Deal is he thinks that if you've been immunized or had your vaccination, that you're going to, just by walking by somebody, you're going to make them ill. Because that's, oh, that's the way the, the world she's works. She's the same type of fucking bitch that'd be like, hey, don't sit on this toilet seat if you got AIDS because I'm going to get it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Or, or, yeah, or she probably won't hire anybody that's, you know, got AIDS, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Like, I'll tell you, there's people on both sides of this fucking vaccination that are so fucking small-minded. It, it's really fucking, it makes me feel like dumber just listening to them. Well, I'm, 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 I don't have a problem saying I got both of my vaccinations and I barely even knew I got a shot. Yeah. And, and, you know? And, and that's, and that's the beauty part. Like, if you want to get vaccinated, go get vaccinated. It's like a flu shot in my eyes, you know? Yeah. Like, well, yeah. And then, by the way, flu shots don't always work either. So, but it doesn't mean I don't get one. Yeah, and yeah. See, I've never got a flu shot in my life, and I've only had the flu a handful of times. Well, I've been I've been sick with the flu, and I I, I don't know. I think I might have had the COVID before it was real rampant. A and lot I, a lot of people say that they they've had. Yeah, well, I don't know, but I know that that a year ago, last October, I was sick, and I I couldn't even come over here. I couldn't do anything. You're for about, at that. You're at that for about six for weeks. That, that that age group where if you would have got the COVID, you would have died. Maybe just like if you know. If you were around my parents, because they're prime suspects, you know, for, you know, dying from COVID. Yeah. So, well, I, I really can't also, say that I have had it or not. No, I can't Sean, say. I can't say I've had Sean, it. But I know all, I got sick. Hey, I thought I was going to die there for a while. Hey, you're also at that age where you should never trust a fart. Shooting or having sex is like shooting pool with a rope. There you go. And don't ever waste a heart on. That's right. When it, when it, you know, when it used to stand up and watch me shave, now it lays down and watch me tie my shoes. Anyway, enough with the fucking ages bullshit, guys. <laughs> How old are you there, Cotton I am top? 64 years old. Mr. Cotton Top. I got right. old enough to know better, but still. St- Why do you think I enough? keep shaving my head? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a head full of, of cotton wool. So, do you, but you guys, I'm not sure who this guy is, but I keep hearing his name, Duggar. Josh Duggar. Oh, the Duggars. You remember that? Oh, he's a fucking pedophile. Yeah, it turns out. I watched it, or I saw something on the news today that the fucker, like, was molesting his little sisters and shit, and, like... That, yeah. that could have happened, but here's, here's the, thing. the thing. Let's just get a fucking noose and hang these fuckers. I will fucking do... <laughs> I will become the old executioner. I'll put a hood over my head. I'll hang them. I'll shoot them. Do whatever the fuck I gotta do. Let's just get rid of them. Tell us what you really think, Shoes. I mean, I'm saying, like, fucking... <laughs> If they're convicted of a uh, child sex crime, I'll take care of those motherfuckers for them. I got, I can kill a deer. I can kill just about anything. What's a fucking human? I, a, I, I don't think he's, I don't think he's been huh? convicted yet. I'm just saying, if he was convicted, yeah, he allegedly downloaded child sexual abuse images online and kept material depicting sexual abuse of minors under the age 12. Yeah, I'll help you, fucking shoops. Yeah. Well, yeah. this, this fucking guy, us. I mean, this is 19 kids in county, so their parents could not quit fucking. 
Obviously. Yeah. Well, the only thing that pulled out in that house was the couch. <laughs> <laughs> For more fucking, right? Yeah. Exactly. For more fucking. Yeah. yeah. See, I've never seen the show. Is this guy one of the kids or is yeah, he one of the... Yeah, he's the oldest boy. Oh, okay. So, well, then he probably learned right. So he probably did fucking fuck with the other... Well, it guy. says he, he uh, allegations he molested underage teenage girls as a teenager. Yeah, and he molested, like, the babysitter and shit, too. Like, how do you molest your babysitter? Like, that... Like... What did the babysitter be molesting him? Uh, I don't know. That's just what I, don't I know. read in Let, the article. Unless he took control. Unless he was he was the fucking head dugger in charge. The HDIC. <laughs> <laughs> head dugger in charge? Well, like, like, the thing about like, the, Better be in, careful, the, Shay. <laughs> in the article that I read, like he was fondling up his little sisters. It's like, dude, if you're fondling up your sisters or sister... You're a fucked up individual. And, like, the, the Duggars let it slide because he apologized for it. Well, you just don't fucking apologize for shit like that. S- sorry, my bad. Yeah. Oopsie this, daisies. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie daisies, my f- hand fell on your tit and my fucking <laughs> finger fell up your coochie. Like, it doesn't work like that. Fucking, like, just, let's just hang these motherfuckers. I don't yeah. I'm with you. Uh, Michaela. Thanks for tuning in. She says, agreed. Agreed. Right on. And Matt Keesler, he just gives me those smiley crying <laughs> emojis. Like, you sons of bitches. Why am I not there? You're welcome anytime, Matt. Yeah. We liked having you on. And I want to thank all 10 of you now for uh, for tuning in. Well, we were up to 13 at one point. Son of a bitch. Somebody had to go take shit. Yeah. They had to go take a dugger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do we got next? Sanchez? Next we got we got the headline reads: Beachgoer finds this one's for you, Shubes. Beachgoer oh. finds one point five million dollars worth of cocaine washed ashore in Palm Beach. Sounds Is this like, Florida? Like a great Palm month. Beach, Florida. Like awesome. Like that much cocaine? Like you know how many hookers you can fucking just buy off the blow on that? None of them if you turn it in. Whoever turned it in was a fucking moron. Yeah. <laughs> like, like they should question their fucking uh, livelihood. If I was a cop, I'd be going, "Are you fucking for real? <laughs> where's the Where's the other five hundred thousand worth?" <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, if that shit just washed up at like fucking Lake China or something, I'd be like, "Well, see you guys. I guess I'm quitting my fucking job. I'm gonna become a coke dealer for a little bit, get some hookers." So, strange things have been found washed up ashore in South Florida beaches this year, including a sea mine and a military drone. A sea mine? Remy yeah. says he played Tony Montana for a night. <laughs> so that's a really good idea. I mean, I like that idea. Say hello to my little friend and just be all covered your nose in white powder. Yeah, of course, there's a Twitter tweet connected to this because everybody does their fucking own, you know, their own work on these uh, internet stories, including us. We're just as guilty as everybody else. Palm well, Beach, we bring, Florida. We bring those fucking stories in a fucking humorous, entertaining fashion. Yeah, but also we just copy a lot of copy and paste. It. Well, we're not out there fucking reporting. Fuck no. How the fuck are we going to do this? How the hell are we going to bring the content to you folks out there and live podcast land now? Yeah. Nowadays, how are we going to bring that fucking content to you if we just don't copy and paste? 65 pounds of cocaine. 65 tur- fucking pounds? It, you know it was turned over to U.S. For? Border Patrol. What? You know how much a pound goes for? Well, just think about this. Fuck a pound. How much a goddamn gram goes for that shit? They don't fucking give it away anymore. It's like $80. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they haven't gave it away in a long time. <laughs> you, remember, well, you, remember, you ever see that show called Square Grouper? No, a, a, no. a square grouper in Florida used to be during the 70s and 80s when they were uh, shipping all the pot up from Colombia, and they would they would uh, dump it. Would be and you said if they were going to get caught, they would start dumping it overboard on, off the coast, and these bales, these great big giant fucking bales of pot would wash up on the shore. It's all and, wet though. Fuck. Yeah, but they would get it and they would. I mean, it was wrapped up like in plastic and stuff. And people would go grab them, and they'd, they'd say they were going square grouper fishing. <laughs> well, you know what? Like, with that kind of, like, 65 pounds of fucking cocaine, I'd be blowing <laughs> fucking cocaine up hookers' assholes. Uh, Remy says he'd play Tony Montana for a night, but 65 pounds, he says maybe two nights. Maybe two nights. <laughs> oh, fuck, he, dude, a fucking, like, like, oh, my God, that's millions and millions of dollars, man, like. You know how many hookers you could get with millions and millions of dollars? And All still of them? Have... 
all of them. That is the right answer tonight on Happy Hour News. That was our test for the night. How many how many hookers can you get for sixty five million dollars? All, all of them. them. There you go. Nice. How about some applause? There you go. <laughs> hey. So oh. we got we got a Shuby's halfwit dumb fuck of the week. Is it next. Jeremy DeWitt? Shuby. Because he's no. back in the news. Of the week. No, this, this, this. I haven't seen anything about Jeremy fall, come up on my uh, searches, but I, I, I am aware that he's he's back at his old games. Anyway, St. Petersburg officer in Florida arrested, fired after Walmart fraud attempt. Police say, so he uh, he arrested a gal, took her freaking credit cards and stuff, and decided he was going to go shopping at Walmart. Shoebies, halfwit, dumb fuck of the week. I'm telling you. So he stole her credit cards and then went shopping at Walmart. Yeah. So not only is he a halfway dumb fuck of the week, he's people of Walmart. Jonathan Kane, 25, was sworn in as an officer in August. Oh, he was a cop too? He was, pl- yeah. Bad cop. Bad cop. Bad cop. And a halfway dumb fuck of the week. Jesus fuck. See, no, what? like, okay, what? like shit what? like that would no. fucking, what? like, what? people that we trust in law enforcement positions and they abuse them like oh, that. Oh, he's just a fuck. He's 25 years old. Yeah, I mean, like, like, really, like, Every the book should be thrown at him. I'm sorry to say it. I mean, it should be fucking thrown at him. If if you're willing to be in that position and abuse your fucking power, get the fuck out of here. Oh, he was using this gal's Walmart app. Ah, still he's stealing from somebody. He's stealing. Yep, it's yeah, it's theft. It's, that's that's theft. that's actually uh, what do they call it uh, when they steal your ident- identity theft. Identity. Oh, hey, and, Re- and Remy fraud. says uh, a couple of really nice hookers for. You know, for the 65 pounds, I just want to say a really nice hooker is about $500 an hour. Okay. So you could get her for about oh, the you rest get of her, her life? life. Oh, yeah, the rest of her <laughs> life or the rest of her hooker life? Yeah. Yeah, until or until you fucking dried up into a prune. <laughs> till, till, till it was just every time I blew my load, it was just a fucking thing of white dust. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be snorting you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Joe. Joking, man. Joking. Hey. He says, sounds good, fellas. You know why that is? It's because we're not using any of my computers because we're using Sanchez's here computer. I, I see a computer purchase in somebody's future. Yeah. <laughs> Shanny. It's all right, Shanny. You can use mine anytime you need it. Well, then it's not mine. Sh- Shanny, you know what you got to do to have Sanchez buy a new computer? You got to lick his butthole. Well, anyway, they... they... <laughs> Well, anyway, <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> I, I was thinking about that for a second, you know. <laughs> this guy got caught, got arrested, got fired. Now he's going to go to jail. The end. Boo oh, fucking who. Boo he deserves who, to go to jail man. for stealing. You're a cop put in power, and then you fucking want to steal? Yeah, well. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Bad Fuck cop. him. Fucking he should be licking the buttholes. Maybe he can buy me a new computer. Yeah. You can buy, buy you a new computer from prison for licking all those buttholes. <laughs> We got a North Dakota man now, don't we? Do we? Right there. That dude. Is this a North Dakota guy? Well, it was on the fucking Woody show oh, this morning. Yeah. There, let's get back to our camera. Goddamn. I'm I'm having yeah, a hard he's, time. He's, he's our director over with here. Our, with our switcheroo m- m- machine because we got us here, then we got Shuby, and then back to us. And sometimes I forget to push the button. Oh, and that's because I, I don't. forget to put the button. Well, I've, I've got our monitoring software on my computer, but I can't have that up so he can see it and read these articles at the same time. Because evidently, I've got it all going on. So yeah. anyway, are we on me? Right, yeah. We're on you. All right. North all Dakota. eyes on you. Uh, so reason to doubt man's claim of innocence. And I, I'll just give you a clue right now. The picture is a guy standing there with a T-shirt with a picture of Pinocchio with a long fucking nose on it. Said, "It wasn't me." <laughs> the North, the North Dakota resident, was arrested Friday night on a bench warrant, charging him with failure to appear in court this month on a methamphetamine possession charge. He got high and he missed it. What's what's the name of the guy? Torres Maldonado, 34. He pled guilty to the misdemeanor drug charge. He was arrested last year following a traffic stop near Bismarck. According to a probable cause affidavit, cop found a small baggie of meth inside a cigarette container. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the whole idea, the whole thing of the story was it's got a picture. Uh, his mugshot's got a picture of him saying, it wasn't me with a fucking Pinocchio nose on the front. That's, that's about as exciting as it gets in North Dakota, guys. 
I mean, we don't have 65 pounds of fucking anything fucking floating up on our beaches. Floating around in the sea? Yeah. We, our, don't, we our, don't have a sea. We don't have a sea. we got a sea yeah. of dead grass outside because it hasn't fucking rained. Well, this guy this guy made it onto the fucking Woody show this morning. I was, I heard, North Dakota man. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I heard about this dude that said that he, there's some crime. I, I wasn't even paying attention when you were reading, but he the, the highlight was that he was wearing a shirt with Pinocchio and said, I didn't do it, but this fucking nose was growing. Right. I think a better fucking shirt would have been would have been Cinderella bending over and said, <laughs> Pinocchio, lie to me. Lie to me. Lie bro. to me. <laughs> lie to me. <laughs> I think that would have been a way better article, Sanchez. Well, how about another Florida man? We got a Florida man. Florida man arrested hey, for. Hold on. Did you guys out there in podcast land hear about the Florida man series that's getting picked up on Netflix? Yeah. I think yeah. we stole it from you guys. Really? Florida yeah. man? <laughs> well, yeah, Florida... Blue Oyster Cold owes his money too. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man is way beyond happy hour. Yeah. Oh, I know. But, I just but we, we magnify. The uh, the abscess of America. Yeah, it's like a little for you, a little for you, a little for you. Yeah, the the, the scrotum <laughs> of the United sp- States. Sp- Spooging all over the place. <laughs> That's why it's all dried up like that. Yeah. <laughs> Just poof, poof. It's got a urinary tract infection. <laughs> we we uh we spooge poofs for Florida. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was just kind of hoping that they get a hold of us to be like, hey, we like your Florida man segment. Let us use it. Nobody gets a hold of us. Shane. I know. Happy HR news. That's right. Oh, uh, 701-369-0029. I finally just, memorized just that fucking me phone off number. There, Sanchez, keep cutting me off. All right, people, you got to tell us to be more vulgar, to be to be more raunchy, to give us what you need in your daily life, or what you don't need. Give you the news okay, that you didn't. Okay, the screen fucking... just went black. Oh, yeah? Oh, there we're back. Okay, I don't know. I didn't do anything. I'm not touching anything. You got control of the shit. Well, it's, I mean, if it goes I'm black, I don't know what two, the fuck's going on. One. Camera one, camera two. Oh, camera maybe one, that's what it was. Camera, camera two. two. Camera one, camera two. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe he hit uh Camera one. Fade to black. No. Anyway, Florida man arrested for reportedly tossing a gator into Wendy's. That's a Florida thing to do there. Well, that's not the first fucking Florida oh. act of violence In- involving a gator. Ain't working. Oh well, nobody needs to see me. Is it? Hold, Hold on, on, it on a takes second. a little bit. Hold on, I'm watching. No, it's blank. Yep. I bet battery's dead. Oh, well, I'll just go back to camera one. All right. Well, we got they Shuby don't need on to see audio. My ugly ass, anyways. We got Shuby on audio. <sighs> Fucking technology shit. I say you. fuck it. You know what I say? You know what I really, really say? I. The only reason we go live is for the interaction. Right. All right? Because we want to interact. Oh, Chewie says that he loved your last episode with turtles flying through the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turtly winks. Turtly winks, yeah. But, you know, the only reason we want to go live is to interact with you people because we do a, a video audio show every fucking week. But to interact with the people that are actually watching is a bonus. Hey, there's 11 people watching right That's now. That's so, got to be some kind of record, I think, for us. It's got to be one for yeah. us. Yeah. There was 12 just a little bit ago. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear about your negativity. <laughs> I mean, that was positive. 12. Oh, yeah, but there now was it's 12, 11. But now it's 11. But still, like, thank you, every 11 people. We love you. Yes. We do. We if, do. if I come with, have 65 pounds of cocaine at any given point in time, I will share it with you 11 people. Except for you, Matt. You don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't even know how long we've been going for. How long do we want to put up? How long do you guys want to put up with our drunken shenanigans? We'll wait for your answer. We will dun, wait dun, for your dun, answer. Dun, dun. So anyway, this guy... uh might as well finish the story, huh? Yeah. Jupiter, Florida. <laughs> we didn't even finish the story. All I got through was the headline. <laughs> what was the headline? The guy threw a, or he uh, tossed a gator into Wendy's. Oh, okay. I thought we were still talking about the turtle. No, no. Oh, no, that was last week. Okay. 
Okay, Jupiter, Florida man was arrested for throwing a live alligator into a Wendy's restaurant drive through east of Lockahatchee. Lock Joshua James, his uncle was Jesse, was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, illegal uh, killing, possessing or capturing an alligator, and second-degree larceny. Petty theft, according to the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office. And he's still in jail, according to here, for, as of uh, last Tuesday. Yep, three and a half foot gator right three through the drive. Three and a half foot gator right through the what drive the through window. What was he doing with it in the first place? I mean, uh, what kind of car did they say? Uh, didn't, didn't say, say what kind of car. Okay. No. Well, I mean, three and a half feet. That's about that long. Yeah. So that's forty-two inches. That's that's a big fucking gator. Yeah. That's at least one hundred fifty pounds. Could be, but I think more like seventy. About Half of that? Pounds, yeah. I don't want to get bit by a three and a half foot gator. I don't want anybody throwing alligators at me. And what right? the fuck? <laughs> well, anyway, that's like that's a, that's a total story. total Florida fucking thing got to do. A Florida man. You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna actually put our Florida man music on the board. Yeah, so, we need to. So you know, but I didn't because I didn't get fucking home in time today. Right. So that's well, that's, that's a project that's what, for next week. There, that's a project for next week. If we plan on doing uh, another live video, so everybody out there in live podcast land, let us know. Should we keep doing this shit, or should we just keep with our audio video oh, extravaganza? For the bunch week? of yahoos from North Dakota, sit and drink. Speaking of, I, I'm empty. Are you? Shuby's empty. Would you this, like to I'm get good, us? I'm good though. I, yeah. You could always be better. I'm good. I gotta work on some shit when I get home. Yeah, you Can't gotta work on some up. shit right I t- now. I take my shits in the morning. <clears throat> so okay, let's is uh you on OBS there? Let's check out camera two again. Maybe All some right. shit happened. Maybe some shit happened. Camera nope. two is black as night. All right. Well, fuck it. Yeah, I'm thinking that battery probably died. He says definitely keep doing it. Right on. I'm guessing he's referring to the lives. Yeah. I always thought it was, you know, against uh, policies to drink online. Who said that? I don't know. I just figured you can't <laughs> fucking. We, we make the policy. We don't follow the policy. We are the policy. We set the rules. We are the rules. So how many more stories you got there like, queued up for I, tonight? I got a shitload of them. See, I got. Keep it uh, going. Keep it going. Ah, See, uh, we'll for, for Iowa. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Hey, you got to mix it for me. Oh, son of a bitch. I've got room over here, bud. God damn it. Come on. Oh, fuck. All right. I I was once about... You got some ice, man. I could sure use some of this oh, ice. Oh, that, that's your wife. She's watching. She can bring us some goddamn ice down. Hey, baby. You want to give me some of that ice, ice, baby? You already got the baby part uh, covered. Oh, that's an announcement I need to make. Uh, oh, she fucking heard me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, like I said, I, I worked today and then I got off early to, uh, dig a hole because it comes Carrie. Uh, hey, right, right in, right in frame. Uh, God damn it. I love you, baby. All straightforward, huh? Because Fuck nothing it, huh? says professionality like the happy hour news team. Oh, she didn't even take my glass, I noticed on the live video. She took the bucket. I'm still yeah. holding it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to bring you a whole bucket of ice. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I had a little announcement to make that, uh, like I said, my dad passed about two months ago. And my bro, Chewy, the bro that I don't really know down in uh, Arizona, He's like, man, because he, he lost his dad recently, too. And he said, dude, just wait till you dream about him. And I never really thought of it that way until it was about two and a half weeks after he had passed, I dreamt about him. It was a younger version of him, and he was in the waiting room of the hospital. And uh, I was there, and there was a couple buddies that, I don't know who they were. They weren't you guys, because I'd know that. There were yeah. just a couple of guys that were there. And we're at the nurse's station. And I look over my shoulder, and I see my dad. I'm like, holy fuck. That's my dad. And then, uh, 
I, something hit me. I was like, why the fuck am I here? What, what am I doing here? And the nurse goes up. She goes, oh, your wife just had a baby boy. And I'm like, what? Come to find out. <laughs> Mrs. Bum, bum, bum. Mrs. Pants here on yeah, cue. You, yeah, you got to come over here. Is uh, there you go. Is uh, is just stick your head right down yeah, by his. Yeah, come over here. Yeah, there well, she I'm is, closer. almost. Yeah, oh, she's there. You go. There. there. Act like I love you. His his <laughs> lovely bride. What did you just fucking say? <laughs> Act like I love you. <laughs> <laughs> love you, babe. Oh, that's a good actress. But anyways, you. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a little little child here, a love child. And we're going to call him Spud. Spud. And it's going to be a boy. So, that's uh, that's my little announcement. Yep. My dad was there, and he knew. And uh, that's all there is. Okay. And what tomorrow- you're saying is one got past the goalie. That's one right. One got past the goalie. Yep. So, uh, a friend of mine said, uh, Rodney, he said, Oh, you should be a soccer or a hockey player. And to myself, I'm thinking, I'm a little old for hockey. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people saying congratulations to you, bud. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I mean, I, I put it out there on Facebook, but I figured I'd put it out there on the old uh, old Happy Hour News team fucking I was fortunate enough. To, I was fortunate enough to be in a room when he found out. And it, the look on his face was 100% totally indescribable. <laughs> It was kind of he he looked at the note that he had and he he looked at me for a second and he looked back at the note and he looked at his feet <laughs> and he looked back at me and he looked at the note. <laughs> so is there going to be a bisectomy in your future? Do they do that for women? Well, they you know that's one of one just, or, one or both of you just, can get get nobody's something. Nobody's fucking with this guy's plumbing. Well, I was just to say if you go in for a bisectomy, I'll go in for one with you, dude. I don't Ooh, want to have children. On the buddy system. Yeah. <laughs> I'll that. shoot blanks with you. But yeah. it's cool because you know what? We can never kill anybody ever again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can never murder a pussy. Well, oh, well, we murder them all the time. Well, yeah, but, but we can never murder, saying, murder, murder a womb, I should say. We, we could, uh... We could, uh... Wipe entire civilizations off our chest with a gym sock. Yeah. Huh? Yes. <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. There will no. There will never be a hockey stick gym sock ever there, again. Yeah. Did, were we on a story? Dan says <sighs> best. We were trying. Ever. <laughs> I've tried two or three times. <laughs> Who says what? Chubes. Hey, Chewy says. I'll shoot blanks with you is a real homie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a buddy there. <laughs> Tell you what, this guy's got some some tight friends. I mean, well, yeah, I keep my circle small. <laughs> there's an analogy to go with. Yeah, I say there's, there's a joke in there somewhere. I'm not sure where it lies though. <laughs> or a country music song. Yeah, somewhere. All right, Sanchez, you gotta. I'm trying. You know what? This fucking computer sucks. Also. I've been trying to pull up my fucking stories, and it's been doing the... Blip, blip. Yeah, that, that computer's a piece of shit. This was my boy's computer. That would be a good Linux computer. Yeah. That Fuck would, you, Jaden. It ain't would, no good for Windows. That would be a good fucking, fucking... So would you guys like to hear another story, or...? Let's or? do it. Let's just keep rolling with it. So, uh, and this one, you sent me this one because I know it would involve EMS... Ah. Four Iowa EMS providers cited after medic allegedly gave intoxicated EMT four fluids. IV fluids. Oh, IV fluids. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that, the, isn't that the Roman numeral for four? That is IV. Yeah. Roman numeral have a continuous line in the top and the bottom. Not necessarily. Necessarily. No, no. That is Not the, the Roman, Roman numerals I use. All right. You anyway, this numerals? is in, in Lynn County, hey, Iowa. Quit, quit avoid. You use Roman numerals? Every once in a while, yeah. When? I don't know. Sometimes when? when I'm writing a story. Really? Yeah. Prove it. Show me a story. I don't have one. Not on this computer. You've never written one? I've written tons of them. With Roman numerals. Well, with this, on my, you know, chapter X, chapter 1V, one one or IV. Hey, it's an IV. 
All right. So anyway, I ain't telling the story now. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, I didn't say a goddamn word. Yeah, but he did. He can read. Fuck it. him, you know. I Tell me, Sean. Tell me. I can't me. read that far away. My computer's Sean, fucked. Sean, right here. Eye contact. All right. Here. All right. Eye contact. Well, I can't eye contact there and read okay. at the same time. Well, I know. One, uh, looks like got one eye to go. Focus on me is what I'm saying. Lynn Everybody. County, Iowa. Four Iowa EMS providers were cited by the State Department of Public Health Health after one allegedly gave another IV fluids to treat intoxication while off duty. So how does that work, Shani? Well, it's the same concept as an uh, old boss of mine said. If you inhale pure oxygen with a hangover, it cures it. Well, that's why in Vegas they have all those oxygen bars, right? No, I think that's just a fucking hook. To, yeah, it's a hook. To I mean, it's... A- you got strawberry flavored oxygen. You got raspberry flavored oxygen. You got menthol flavored oxygen. Hey, what's the shit that they're going to outlaw menthol cigarettes? Yep. And, and, fla- cigars. and, 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 and okay, flavored cigars. And flavored cigars. this shit. That's, that, I, I, that's I, I, your right, black because, and tan, sir. Because, mm-hmm. it, 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 uh, because menthol cigarettes, uh, they, they, uh, they lead towards ethnic people with ethnic. ethnic no, what it is is. is they're used by by uh, colored people of color yeah. more than other cigarettes. Fuck them! I fucking smoke menthol cigarettes. If they take it away, I'm quitting. Fuck back! <laughs> All right. Fuck everybody! I'm gonna be back in a second. I'm gonna rearrange the camera so we can all have a fucking view. All right. So I'm not gonna touch talking. anything. Just we'll, keep talking. How about if I finish I'll, the story? Okay, I'm just gonna go along with this. Okay. All right. You just continue your rant, Shoops. Okay. I smoked menthol since 2012. Yes. I love my fucking babies. Fuck them! Like, well, oh, people of color get get all get it taken away now. Like, you got I mean, right on me. I don't know. All I'm saying is that's the most racist thing I've ever heard. And I own a race car. <laughs> and you're racing all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm racing all the time. Okay. Well, we got me. Hi, everybody. I'm there shooting. you go. There you go. Can you pan out a little bit? <laughs> if Shubes, if you scoot forward a little bit, I we're can't going to be going. Forward. I don't have that kind of technology. <laughs> Chantix should just leave the damn camera off me. Nobody needs to see this ugly fucking fat fucking. There you go, disgusting Jenny, right there, right there, perfect. These days, perfect. All right, yeah, that's. Well, that's why we hired him for to be the director. God damn! Look at that. We got everybody in the fucking good idea studio. Everybody. Now. So we know we know if we're going to use frame. one. We know we're going to use one camera. That's a good spot to put it. Everybody right. in and then, fucking and then frame. How does your wifey pants get down to bring you ice? It's already here. It's here. Okay. She doesn't I'm need to come anymore. In future. No, she oh, doesn't. Uh, Remy says Woody Harrelson swears by oxygen bars. Yeah. So what does yeah. he swear though? Can he, he can afford auction bar. <laughs> yeah, Woody Harrelson's got a lot of money. Yeah. Did you know his dad was a serial killer? Yeah. 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 He was in prison and yeah. shit. Yeah. Weird. Well, Crazy world. He was a hitman. He was a he natural was. born yeah. killer, huh? He was a natural born killer, yeah. that And he that all that, all came out after Harrelson did that movie. Yep. And they said that, like, Harrelson channeled his dad or something. Yep. Like, Fuck that shit, man. He Harrelson's just a fucking awesome actor. Yeah. <laughs> and he's humble. I I've, yeah. I've listened to a couple of podcasts with him on him, and he is just the humblest guy. And just you know, he talks about his dad freely, openly. Yeah. And, and the shit that he went through, and he's like, you know what? I just persevered. I went through it, and I recognize it. Well, and that's a you know, people got to realize that when you're young, that's just it, it isn't anything special. It's just your life. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just the way you live. A lot, a lot of people who become successful don't treat their their youth as something you know drastic or dramatic. It was just the way that was, mm-hmm. you know. Well, my youth was drastic and dramatic, but that's the way it was. That's the way it was. Yeah, that's how I. But you don't go around you, you making it using it as an excuse for everything that goes wrong in your life. No, no, which a lot of people do. A lot of things that go wrong in my life are totally my fault. Yeah, that's, because that's I didn't learn from my youth. Or you just sometimes we don't learn from our, our adulthood either. <laughs> well, well, cocaine and hookers. Everybody here, this is pretty much a roundabout view of uh, the Good Idea Studio. Yeah. There's more to it, but the uh, the other camera went tits up, so I figure why not rearrange this camera to get us all given a circle jerk. I think they were here when that happened. Oh, 
Oops, nice. excuse me, people. <laughs> you <laughs> sick son of a bitch. Unless we're picking up new new viewers. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to. St- I'm still trying to find. Oh, uh, we're down to seven people, and I'm probably one of them. Yeah. Oh, probably. Yeah. I I, I think that's probably. Have we got any uh any uh data on how long we've been doing this? Uh, long. Forty five minutes to an hour. I'm guessing. Oh yeah. Forty four minutes. All right, we're going to do this for another 15. We're going to make this one an hour-long fucking video. I'm with you, buddy. All right? I can do an hour. Let's make the last 15 minutes the best 15 minutes of your fucking life, all right? Anybody Um, out there in podcast land or video podcast land has any recommendations to fucking Florida stories, send them our way now. Yeah. Give us some likes. Give us some hearts. Give us some laughing faces if we made you laugh tonight. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Give us some laughing faces. Yeah. How yeah, many we, fucking yeah, emojis we, can we see fucking fly up on the screen? I've seen worse podcasts do better. I'm even going to give us a little like. There we got another like. Well, laughy. You know what? I'm going to. I can't. I'm the moderator. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I can't like my own shit, huh? Uh, Actually, I'm the, I'm the moderator. Thank you people that all give us likes and stuff. <laughs> You guys are awesome. We appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I'll I'll tell you what. Our alcohol-filled hearts. uh, You know, you guys sticking with us, because after that last last week we tried it, that was truly a shit show. That was an absolute disaster. That was. And just the fact that you came back, you know, to try for some more, sorry to disappoint you, by the way. Well, I I am the good (laughs) luck charm around here. I'm telling you, Shubes. You should come back more often. You're our podcast lube. You are the lube, there you go. I'm the lube that, that makes gets us, us through the podcast universe. You're the KY jelly of the, podcast of the whole man. operation. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind being the KY we, jelly because I'm can, slippery. Like, you are a slippery fucker. <laughs> if we could market the shooby lube, we would. Oh, Ooh. shooby lube. Shooby lube. Gig. Yeah, from gig. Oh, dude, I, hey, I hey, need hey, to get on there. Some? And then we got to have like. We got to order some. We got to no, make no. it first. Well, no, no, no. Let's just get some KY. Things and we'll just rebrand it. Fuck it with the. No, I have a way better idea. Someone said. I got a good idea. <laughs> Everybody just spit in a jar for a month. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and that'd be the shoe loop. That'd be the shoe loop. And we'll label, put it like in yeah. little shampoo bottles. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think there's a tribe in South America that does that to get drunk. <laughs> uh, I was listening to uh, Quibble Squabble and Bicker. Uh, Dan says, uh, Dan Haas says, uh, the mystery of Lisa Lame. I don't know who Lisa Lame is. I don't is. know who Lisa Lame is. Is that, that Lisa Lampanelli? Okay, whatever. I don't know. Let that fill us in and let us know what's up with there's, that. There's more comments. <laughs> Rusty was said it's good, was good last week, but he got cut off driving through Nevada. You yeah. good thing you were in Nevada. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because that was a shit show of a show. Tonight we're using uh, Sanchez's computer because my all my computers put together can't do this. They're just except, they just don't have the processing power. Well, if I drug my big fucker out, it would. Yeah. Oh yeah. That would. Yeah. We could. Jeez. Yeah. But I don't want to do that. Yeah. We don't need to do that. So, oh, says uh, I've got a message here. We're having trouble playing the video. Let us know if we break down. Uh, they're probably trying to play the first video. That, I don't know. That cut off early. Somebody said uh, he'll send a link. Dan. Yeah. Dan said he's going to send a link. All right. We need more fucking crowd participation. We're down to seven fucking viewers. Yeah. Share this shit. Share it you. around. Yeah. Uh, we got 13 minutes left of this debacle. And, uh, yeah, because I've sweaty. lost my preview yeah. here on, on Facebook. My are really sweaty on this chair. Oh, yeah? Don't make huh. a stain, okay? We still got the live video going. I, I'm All monitoring right. it. All right. Good. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good for the. Uh, I'm pushing through. I'm just saying we got a little swamp butt going on. I just no. I'm just saying don't make a stain on the fucking chair. <laughs> I won't make a Other stain. people got to sit there. Shoot. If I make a stain, freaking people want to pay to sit in this chair. That's right. All right, Dan sent the link. We're not gonna play it now because it just might fuck up the fucking video we're doing. So Justin Rummel is watching. Hello, Justin. Justin. Oh. God, do I wish you were still Jeez. my neighbor? Jeez. Juice. <laughs> you want to tell them a little rundown of what's going on? What, no, what I don't want to get into that mess. No, Come on, no, no, you no, just no. brought it up. Well, Come just, on. Dude, it turns out that I got new neighbors, and uh, whew, there's a, a little, mess going on over there. A little methy? Uh, it's, yeah, it's a little methy, methy over there, yeah. A little methy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking 
people walking around all hours of the night, starting their cars, pulling the driveway, taking them back out, park them on the street, pulling back the driveway, taking them back you out, parking on the street. You know there's an easy street. way to fix that. I, I'm staying away. I'm too old to fucking I'm go to jail. Saying, I know some hard-hitting motherfucker with a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. $500 is a kneecap. I don't have $500. I just, I'll just i just let them, you know, watch your teeth fall out and shit like that, you know. I got hey, all my shit locked you know, up. You know I'm what? loaded. I'm locked and loaded. I'm not <laughs> worried about it. I'm just saying, put some bear traps and snares in your yard. Yeah, I think I think I've made myself clear that they better not be fucking jacking around my yard. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah. Anyway, miss you, Mister Justin. <laughs> Methamphetamines. Yeah. Mexican Americans. Mexican Americans. <laughs> Freaking Remy, that's awesome. Oh, fuck. All right, we're down to the final countdown. Yeah. And one, one final story. One final story for the night. I'm going to give you a rundown on the uh, psychological uh, story I was going to do tonight, part of the psychological studies that... Well, I don't know south. what we're going to do tonight because this is a live... It, or is it uh, actually recording the video while you're streaming it? I don't know. just streaming? Well, Facebook usually keeps a recording. Yeah, you no, can bring download can I, again. Can I? Well, OBS should record it. I'm I'm not no. recording. I'm just streaming. You're not recording. So this week there will not be another video on YouTube because we are not recording. We can always but, download the video from yeah. from uh, from Facebook and put it up on YouTube. You can. Okay. I, I'm not. All right. I. If I. Okay, that's fine. No, that's. that's if fine. I don't have that's... a fucking file to work with, I say fuck it. We got ten minutes left. On this hour-long fucking live broadcast, I want to thank all nine of you for sticking with us. All right? The numbers have risen and lowered throughout the night. But God damn it. I got to say thank you to everybody out there. Joseph, Carrie, Remy, fucking Chewy. Michaela. Michaela. Uh, Dan. Dylan. Dylan. Justin. Justin. Rusty. Fucking Michael Beavers. God damn it. Uh, God damn them fucking labels in the way. If we forgot you, give us a like. What Rusty was it? Uh, Corneliuson. Uh, my uncle, Matteo, Charlie. Thanks for thanks for tuning in tonight from uh, uh, Austin, Texas. Or San Antonio, actually. San Antonio. Lindsay. Uh, who the fuck else is here? Oh, you got a long list of them over there, buddy. Yeah. Sean. Yeah, people, people came and yeah, go. Yeah, Sean Hintz. Put on your hat, Matt. buddy. Matt Keesler. Matt Keesler. Thank you. Our good cop from episode uh, four uh, something. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for tuning uh, I saw in somebody just give us a like. Carrie. Yeah. I, I just named off every fucking buddy that watched. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you want us to keep doing this. Oh, Dan. We want to keep doing this, but I don't know if there's a fucking, like our buddy Matt, uh, Fumble Penis said, is it worth the squeeze? Is it worth the squeeze? Well, I don't know. It I don't seems know. Like That's so, the thing. Well, I don't know. It just seems like something we do every week. You know, like... No, is, uh, do we want to do the live? Do we want to do the video? At this point in time, we put so much work into it. I say, fuck yes. All right. Then Michaela we're gave us work. a heart freaking... Fuck yeah. Yeah, so so you know what? Maybe next week, maybe all the shoes will come back and we'll fuck All right. Out. Hey, Michaela. Shots. Shots. <laughs> Cheers, Michaela. Cheers. cheers. Cheers to all our viewers. Yeah, cheers to all the viewers. And I got to say, girl, it's good to see you back out again. I yeah, see Michaela, freaking, I don't know what the fuck, but uh, yeah, I don't I'm either. drunk already. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuck, but it's good to see you back out and about again. All right, one more fucking story here for tonight. Oh, Sanchez, look at him. Well, I got to top it off. You got to top it off. I saw this monkey video today. Yeah. There was this orangutan sitting on this lady's car, fucking jerking it. And he came and he ate it. Oh. <laughs> and then he kept coming. And one of the comments was, oh, must have got it from them white boys. <laughs> Maybe he was lacking protein. Yeah. That's why animals do crazy yeah, shit. What did like it have that. to do with white boys? Well, I don't know. I guess some fucking white, white boys boy, saw. Fucking, well. Yeah, well. Well, I don't as, as, a cum, white boy, huh? as a white boy, I'm ashamed of white boys sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I hear you. I'm, <laughs> I'm in the same boat. <laughs> Just a little further back in the orange section, huh? Okay, yeah, we we don't have time to do that. Do that. No, we that big story. Yeah. So we'll just do a nice short little uh, little 
Unarmed man was shot by a Virginia deputy who gave him a ride home an hour earlier. Yeah, this guy was arrested an hour earlier, or this this deputy just gave him a ride home. Yeah, he he was a good Samaritan, gave him a ride home, was called back to the the address on a domestic dispute, walked in the house, looked at the guy, thought he had a gun, and shot him. Well, it turned out he was on the phone. So the cop just went in and assumed because the guy had something in his hand, it was a gun, and shot him. He had just just done done a you know guy a favor like a couple hours before. Well, he should fucking be on trial for murder. Well, the thing is, is cops gotta quit being so quick to trigger to, happy to yeah to to react. God. Well, as as a as a person that has family in law enforcement, you know, like. I understand it's a high stress job. It, it's you know like you gotta be on guard, but at the same time, you gotta make fucking a hundred percent legit calls, like like split this split. Yeah, second you gotta reaction. be fucking good I mean, with your reaction. With your reaction, like you gotta be like, oh, that's a cell phone. Put my gun away. Oh, that's a gun. Big, you know. Like, well, I mean, the the idea that every furtive move is a threat to your life is just. A, I just don't get it that every, you know, if a guy just, pe- people are nervous. They're not used to being in those situations. You know, J- Joe yeah. Public. Yeah. You know, when they, you know, the cop grabs your arm, it, it is human nature to pull away. All right. Well, now yeah. you've committed a crime. Well, just look at that time that Zach Palmer. Through a rest in peace, buddy. I love you to death. But okay. Zach was fucking beating up a dude outside the Esquire. And the fucking cops were like, hey. Stop beating him up. Well, Zach, you know, thought that it was somebody out of the bar, and, like, this fucking guy, like, really pissed Zach off. So Zach continued to fucking pummel his ass. Well, finally, they started whacking him with the billy clubs, and, like, Zach turned around and grabbed the cop by the fucking wrist of the billy club, and, like, fuck was like, you're next, and then realized, like, he saw the badge. and Realized what was going yeah, on. Yeah, and, like, he let go and put his hands up. Well, they never charged him with anything other than, than uh like disorderly conduct see that's the thing about here where we live is we don't have those over jumpy angst cops that well you know hey if well like if zach had just, like five welts on his back from the billy club so they hit him more than once before yeah but it him. wasn't five bullet holes yeah exactly i mean that's the thing that i'm getting at is yeah you know, i understand that some these cops they they do have a tough job and they do have to make split second decisions but when it amounts to someone else's life and you're fucking wrong about it, well, I mean, that's to, a big to, fucking deal. To, yeah. To say that every single move that a person makes is a, it, 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 a threat, that's it's bullshit. Just, okay, that's here's just, the thing. I saw a it, video on YouTube where a guy was pulled over and he got out of his car and he had his hands up. All right? And the cop says, give me your ID. This, this kid fucking went right behind like this and the cop pulls his gun whoa 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 what are you doing and the kid's like my wallet it's yeah, the yeah, same action of grabbing a gun as grabbing your wallet from your back and, pocket and, and that's it's like that's the problem like if the cop isn't sure they should say put your hands let me get your id where yeah. is it at where yeah. is it at yeah and this you guy know? I, I like, like he, he, here's here, here's a perfect fucking example Oh, shit like that, okay? One wrong slip and you're fucking dead. When I was about 16, 17 years old, the guy still lives in town, and I still fucking don't give a fuck. Fucking, (laughs) when he was a deputy sheriff, he fucking pulled me over for making an illegal U-turn, okay? I didn't realize it because I was a dumb fuck 16, 17-year-old kid, had a fucking BB gun shot underneath my front seat. The stock was sticking out, Okay. He made me get out of the car, and then instead of, like, putting me in handcuffs or putting me in the back seat of his car... For his safety. For his safety, he made me retrieve it, and then he pulls his fucking gun on me while I'm pulling out the fucking BB gun. It's like, and like when I turn around, the dumb fucker's got his finger on the fucking trigger, and I remember it because I got tunnel vision on the fucking gun. Yeah. It's like... And Chewy says, I guess a cool phone case that looks like a pistol is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Chewy. I think a you're right. very bad idea. Uh, Remy says, I got some shit to say about the absolutely unchecked power that is law enforcement. 
Cops are human before anything else. They are susceptible to anger, stress, and jealousy, etc., etc. They're just like any other human. There is good and bad of all kinds of people. You know, that's in any profession. Uh, there needs to be a third party that checks, about, checks and balances an extremely tipped scale. Unchecked power in the time would, you know, would corrupt even the purest of us. That's, that's right. True. Yeah, that's, and that's, that's why you can't just, just, you can no longer ignore these breaches of, uh, of etiquette and, and people just, they can't just continue to say, well, it's okay because they're a cop. You no. can't just, you can't just say, well, we're going to give you a pass because, you know, you're a cop. Here's the thing. Growing up, I learned to trust and love cops because they came by the fucking playground when we were outside and they checked on us. Two, three squad cars every lunch hour when I was younger. And they'd hand out football cards or baseball cards just to talk to them. Say, And all they'd say was, how's your day going? I used Everything to- all right? All right. Well, I, here's a couple baseball cards. I learned cards. To, to respect them because they used to come pick up my dad when he was whooping on us. <laughs> I, I mean, different strokes for different folks. I'm just saying there's bad seeds in uh, law enforcement. There are bad seeds in welding. There are bad seeds, seeds in, in the grain elevator business. In the grain business. elevator business. There are bad seeds in taxis. Every Mechanics. fucking profession that you go to. There's it bad It might seeds. not be the shop you're working in, but they are out there. Yeah. The shop down the street, down to the next town. Exactly. Is a fucking, is going to say, oh, your fan belts broke and cut it with a fucking razor blade. Yeah, it's like. There are bad fucking people everywhere. There, there that is. That bottom line. I mean, we can't put the blame strictly on cops, but they do have a very high stress job. You know, and I am lucky. We are lucky that in well, the, the small the, town we live the, in. The problem with cops is that you got the chance of an encounter with a cop and your freedom be taken away. And that's or your where, life. Yeah, and that's where people are willing to do anything to get the fuck away from them. When really, like, I was always told, no matter what the cop says you did, don't fucking fight it. Don't fucking resist it. Fucking have your day in court and tell the fucking to Tell it to the jury. And at the end of the day, and this has been my advice for everybody for years and years, if a cop wants you to go to jail, you're going to jail. Yeah. yeah I just mean, go. you know, and if he can't take you, he's got 10 other guys behind him who are bigger than him who are going to make sure that you go to jail. If all he has to do is say he's going, you're going. Dan and says never cops, have- cops need to get bond insurance. Keep the city from paying for the misconduct. All right. Well, yeah. and here's the thing, too. You know, with you always saying that, like, uh, there's always a cop behind a cop. You yeah. Know? One thing that I always pri- pride myself in, I'll never have a car fast enough to freaking outrun a co- radio. That's right, yeah. You, know? you can't yeah. outrun a radio. Like, as fast as I got a car, I'll still never have one fast enough to outrun a radio. Right. And you know what? That cop, that radio is ahead. His buddy is going to be willing to take me to jail. Well, Matt, if you're still out there, we really want you to come back. Maybe we can yeah, have a I'm real discussion. I love for you. Yeah, come we can have we, show, and, and somebody with a little inside, uh, you know, inside line on it, so we don't just start spewing a bunch of bullshit. On that note, bump, bump, bump. We've been uh, we've been going live for an hour. Okay, people, it, every, love you all. Glad than, to be back tonight. Longer than we expected, or even uh, even anticipated. I mean. Longer yeah. than I went with. Well, when we started, it looked like it was going to be about forty-five seconds. <laughs> yeah, I haven't went with a, without a cigarette for this long in fucking twenty years. Oh man, rough life. I tell rough you. life. I'll tell yeah. you. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Peace out. Uh, we're still on, by the way. <laughs>